respected elders and my brothers and sisters i welcome all of you once again to this youtube channel with the islamic greeting assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh may peace mercy and blessings of allah subhanahu wa taala be on all of you last night there was heavy rain in bengaluru thought of making a video on water cycle let's listen to one of the verse of the glorious quran surah an-nur chapter 24 verse 43 bismillahir rahmanir rahim alam tara anna allah yuzji sahaban thumma yu'allifu baynahu thumma yaj'aluhu rukama rukaman fatara al-wadq yakhruju min khilalih وَيُنَزِّلُ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ مِن جِبَالٍ فِيهَا مِن بَرَدٍ فَيُصِيبُ بِهِ مَن يَشَاءُ وَيَصْرِفُهُ عَمَّن يَشَاءُ يَكَادُ سَنَا بَرْقِهِ يَذْحَبُ بِالْأَبْصَارِ Do you not see that Allah drive clouds then he brings them together then he makes them into a mass and you see the rain emerge from within it and he send down from the sky mountains of clouds within which is hail and he strikes with it whom he wills and averts it from whom he wills the flash of its lightning almost take away the eyesight you may have read this verse several times but did you ever ponder on this through looking at your academic books which you have read and attended the exam and scored good grades have you ever explained these words to others with the scientific proof stating that our quran describe water cycle in detail in several chapters surah noor is one of them have you ever thought of it come join with me let's ponder by observing the fact as per the present research work done by the contemporary universities of the world pertaining to water cycle let's have a brief flash on research regarding the water cycle in the 7th century bc tales of miletus believed that surface spray of the ocean was picked up by the wind and carried inland to fall as rain in early time people did not know the source of underground water In 1580 Bernard Palissy was the first man to describe the present day concept of water cycle and often credited as the discoverer of the modern theory of the water cycle. He described how water evaporates from the ocean and cools to form clouds. The clouds move inland where they rise, condense and fall as rain. This water gathers as lake and steams and flows back to the ocean in a continuous cycle. It's quite important to understand the process of the water cycle. I shall try to explain the steps. The water cycle starts with evaporation. Step 2, condensation. Step 3, sublimation. Step 4, precipitation. Step 5, transpiration. Step 6, runoff. Step 7, infiltration. The Quranic description is absolutely accurate and agreed perfectly with modern data on hydrology. The water cycle is described not only in Surah An-Nur but in several verses of the glorious Quran. Chapter 7 verse 57, chapter 13 verse 17, chapter 15 verse 22, chapter 23 verse 18, chapter 25 verse 48, chapter 25 verse 49, chapter 30 verse 24, chapter 30 verse 48, chapter 36 verse 34, chapter 39 verse 21. Chapter fifty, verse nine. Chapter fifty, verse eleven. Chapter fifty-six, verse sixty-eight. Chapter fifty-six, verse seventy. Chapter sixty-seven, verse thirty, and chapter eighty-six, verse eleven. We can go on and on. No other text, no other text on the face of the earth, dating back fourteen hundred years ago, gives such an accurate description of the water cycle. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. Dear brothers and sisters, why do we not ponder? on the glorious quran why do we hide this information from our children isn't it our responsibility to share this with our children our friends our neighbors we have forgotten that what our beloved prophet muhammad peace be upon him said in his farewell sermon that 
he has passed the message what he received and it's our duty to share it with others are we doing it no i don't think so this negligence reminds me of a verse from glorious quran and whenever i read this i get petrified is this verse referring to us surah al furqan verse 30 بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وقال الرسول يا ربي إن قوم اتخذوا هذا القرآن محجورا Oh my lord indeed my people have taken this Quran as a thing ignored abandoned Oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us forgive us forgive us Come Let's ask the creator of the universe to forgive us for our negligence towards the glorious Quran. Let's start today now humbling ourselves with sincerity and start pondering on the verses of glorious Quran before time runs out and the test of life on the face of the earth is over. May Allah be with us with every step we take. Jazakallah khairan.